For grace, by grace you have been saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Okay, so you've got all that theology tied up in just a couple of verses. We are positionally sitting in the heavenly realms right now. If, in fact, you can lose your salvation, and remember, the term in Christ means that we are in Christ. We are a part of what God is doing in Christ. That doesn't mean that we're in Jesus, the human. We are in Christ. Okay, he is the divine God. He is the connection between humanity and deity, Christ. He is what God is doing in the world. If we are in Christ and we can lose our salvation, that means that we, that Christ is completely ineffective. That's what that means, okay? And it says in 1 Timothy, uh, let me read you, we're talking about 1 Timothy um, 2, I think, or 2 Timothy, whatever you were talking about. But the other one is, here it is. This is a faithful saying. This is 2 Timothy 2, 11. This is a faithful saying. For if we died with him, we shall also live with him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. Guess what? That does not mean that if we are saved and we deny him, he will deny us. That means that if we never accept him, we have denied him, he will deny us. That's what that means. Here it is. The next one answers that. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. If you are in Christ and he denies you, he is denying himself. That is what that is saying. You cannot lose your salvation. It is impossible. We need to go on. Yes, tell me and then we'll go on. All of us here, when we grew up, our moms had those canister sets. One can went inside the other one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. John chapter 10, he said, you're in me and I'm in the Father. Nobody can snatch you out of my hand. Absolutely. I'm in that little one inside. Of Jesus. You're inside, he's inside, he is in God the Father. Absolutely. We cannot lose our salvation. So anybody that, that doesn't get that, just take this study, remember the verses, and then go and tell them where they're wrong. And they're going to argue with you anyway, because people love to argue from a position of a lack of knowledge. It happens all the time.